thing is to pretty much disconnect our door panel. Alt, alt tool, trim, removal kit. We got this off Amazon. It's got a couple other things. kind of finagle it, push down, wiggle it. Now you're able to get it out. It's definitely in there. Um, in here, there's a little, that little thing, I don't know if you might have it, but I do. Then there's a Phillips screw. So let me go grab my Phillips and I'll be back. Go ahead and get this trim off. Try this with the hook. There we go. See, this is the plate. This hook definitely helped out because it was able to get inside. Unlock another Phillips. I should have got a uh, different screwdriver because this bit is just too small. Put them in the center. It's in. Yep, now it's in. Um, we're gonna try this little hook. Try to pop it out. There we go. I got it. Ooh, good lord, man. That that thing is on there. Alright guys, so I'm not taking this whole thing off. I'm actually gonna let it uh, hang off on a um, little step stool. Uh, reason being is because you got two cables here, one for your latch, one for your, uh, your door lock. I'm gonna leave them on. All right, got a little step ladder. Take this bad boy off. Use the hook. All right, so underneath I have a little step ladder as I show. I'm gonna uh, throw this box underneath too. I can't help. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is try to, there we go, got that bad boy right off. Just those two, bam, bam. Nice little hook there, good to go. Now we got access to our bolts for our mirror. Uh, we also have our actual power wire for the stock mirror. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect this bad boy. Looks like you just, uh, there's a little clip. You just pinch down, pull out. All right, so these are actually tins. I'm gonna go ahead and use our impact gun. Use our hand to retrieve. Let's get it. Ah, woo, got it. three out so ideally um, the mirror is ready to be taken out however we're going to have to use some pressure to get it off because it's been on there for some time we got her off it's a stock mirror good condition it's only got 50,000 miles on as is for sale got a little clip to it so we got to unclip that piece up there kind of zoom in so you guys can see this clip right here it's pretty much stopping us so um i'm honestly wondering if we should keep that on there let's 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 look at this um when we get the other mirror up all right you guys might be a little bit shaky but this is our tow mirror gm style manual folding um when it, referring to as just going out ah, there we go that's manual it's got this connector and this is the light this wire here is what I was referring to as the um, custom wiring for 
this. Uh, unscrew this and just pull this off and we'll see exactly how this thing goes. All right, so got that plastic piece off. Um, we're going to basically try to feed this piece in here. Now, what I need to do is grab some screws and Screws, but I'm gonna try to uh, I'm short I'm five three so I should have grabbed my ladder <laughs> yeah. I got the top one I'm gonna run and try to do the bottom ones because again that bottom ones have that it's like that metal piece of bracket is kind of in a way. Yep, she's on there. So now I'm gonna do this one. Slowly kind of feed that in there. Go out there and make sure it's tight. Okay, she's tight. Now let's go ahead and plug this in. She's in there. We got this bad boy installed. Just plug and play. Now again, this wire here, which connects to this wire, which you have a, uh, the white is positive and the gray is negative. And basically, um, what I was advised, many people, what they're doing is that they're uh, basically connecting to the feed of your truck bed light. So that way, when they turn that on, that light comes on. Um, and that way, when they're backing up, they can see, especially like in a dark um, back area. But what I'll do is find some time to actually uh, take this wire, uh, connect this here, um and basically splice into this connection here but the thing is is that you gotta route your uh wire from here on down cut in through this garment here uh and then cut in there and then you know run it through there um you know that's another video that i'll i'll do when i get to it we're just gonna basically uh put this door back up this door it pretty much uh a, a lip on here and it pretty much goes in there so it's like lip the lip goes down and you kind of feed it in there okay then slap everything else back on but um after i do that then we'll look at the mirror so we got this on the left side let's see does she move yep she's moving she is moving put it back on Thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and attack that screw hole and make sure everything stays in there. Silver screw is for that door handle. So now the handle itself, this screw. push on it to line it up. You just tap around the door. I'm kind of wondering if I should have did this one first. But we'll see. Sometimes you have to. Worked out fun, so that does go on last. Reconnect our door wire harness, just plug and play. There we go. 
Yep. This one is a bit tedious and it's very, very prone for damage um, because of these little clips are just so thin. thing it's that pin all right this pin here which goes up all right so it was in the unlock position and I pushed it out to the, so that way we can actually lock it and I'm gonna put it back in put it in and lock it just one click there we go all right so got everything installed and working. Take this tape off. Just look at that. That's beautiful. Compared to that. That. And look at that. I could definitely see the curb and everything right there. Like that blind spot area where it will be a vehicle. And look at that, I can see my step stool right there. So if that's a kid, I can see. You can see, I can I can see like right there where my uh, my light is, my tail light. I can see the redness of it. That, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you guys can see. I'm not seeing the tail light, I'm not seeing on the ground. I even have that little extra thingy majingy that doesn't do a darn thing. But um, yeah and as i was stating before you see this that that's like a blind spot right there like if somebody's like right there it's uh, it's a blind spot but here you know here in the driver's seat i can see because the mirror was just like bang right there now this is folded out so let's put this push it back in there we go gm style tow mirrors they come packaged in nice big box mirrors are actually in this styrofoam box um, each of them are in a separate styrofoam box well protected so in case you're wondering how the package is it's it's well well protected surprisingly for ebay i totally forgot i knew it was something i was forgetting to do now um so uh let's see the blind spot monitoring uh there we go all right so our blind spot for our mirrors um, um what i did do is i turned this off i press off right and i press it back on and this thing on both ends they lit up so i might get in any uh air light on my dashboard because i know a lot of other people uh they got that uh blind spot monitor error on that dashboard when it came to uh issues but in my case nothing making the videos to kind of show you uh you know just a basic way to install it um also um you know, there's other videos of, you know, installing the GM style mirrors on a Tundra. But the issue that I've seen with the videos is that they really don't show, you know, after it's been installed. Like, how does it look? How does it handle? How do you like it? You know, they don't do that. They just, they just be like, bam, mirror installed. See, guys, you know, it's like you want to kind of get a uh personal feeling um of you know why did you choose it and since you chose the tone mirrors you know uh, how well are they compared to stock mirrors you know you want you want something that's more opinionated you know? stock mirrors make you feel like you're driving a rental truck these tow mirrors man they make you feel like you are driving a truck like your truck is the work truck but it's a nice work truck you know nice luxury work truck um so yeah I, I love it i love it i'm still um still learning still I'm trying to maneuver i would say it's definitely a uh 
I wouldn't really call it you have to relearn how to drive, but you have to relearn your truck, you know, when it comes to the mirrors, um, when it comes to the sides, the rear, you have to relearn it, you know, relearn where everything's at. Uh, but man, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I just can't wait until I actually put a trailer, put my trailer back on there and haul something just to see, you know, when I'm turning or backing up, I can kind of see that rear end of the trailer. Man, I, I absolutely love it, so.